As an ultrasound fellow, I had to document the death of a full-term baby in the delivery room in front of the patient and her mother who stared at my face the entire time I was doing the ultrasound, all while eight months pregnant myself. It is even worse if it is a child whom I lost. I feel like it is my own child that I lost and I failed to save him. It is not easy losing patients because after that, you have to talk to the relatives to break the news. There is nothing like working on a case for hours to then have the patient die. His breathing grew labored, then stopped. Threats from the I psychiatric patient on his chest and heard from his heart fade away. Aggression. There are days on an inpatient service where a patient may die, a patient may be sent to the ICU, it a patient is discharged to hospice, a family conference is held to discuss goals of care, or I have to give a patient the news that they have concern with a likelihood of survival of three to six months. When I saw my first deaths, I was too I guarded to cry. And I don't but I dreamt want about to be them. Here at all. When you lose it's patients, an effort to drag you myself feel down to clinic because I know that I'm going to see patients who are going to do badly. Will my nerves actually be able to stand the constant stress? I also have the feeling that this topic is very unpopular with my colleagues. We should not act like machines with no feelings. The fact that I begin to take patients for granted, it comes naturally to me, as if it is a mechanic sort of machine. No that doctor you can, can just get through his or her professional life without making a mistake. My feelings should not but overtake for a long me, time that's because then I cannot trade in my patients stay in grounded, society and still that's does exactly not forgive any need. accidents by medical professionals. There is nothing shameful or unprofessional about grieving. Showing I often will or call crying my patients in the hospital and represents a weakness when they have for the staff and medical with the issues patients to face or in a patient passes away. There is a heaviness that we all feel, all the doctors, nurses, social workers, psychologists feel you end up putting a wall between you and your patient. I have to detach every day. Detachment isn't like a light switch that can be turned on and off to suit a specific situation. I learned from many of my teachers and colleagues to suspend or suppress any shared human feelings for my dying patients. It has a tendency to seep into all relationships. If physicians can somewhat detach from the emotional aspects of their jobs, then they will burn out. It becomes a personal style of distancing oneself from the world, not just from patients but also colleagues family, friends and yourself. Unless you are dying, crying is unprofessional behavior and not to be tolerated. Physicians who see it's unprofessional have and decide that you don't belong where you are. distances to avoid being outed, which would result in medical board scrutiny and possible license restrictions. You form a bond with certain patients and not to be able to show some grief when he or she dies, then that would be shameful and unprofessional.